No, handcuffs are illegal. You cannot put handcuffs on her. Well, another day, another soft sit arrest video. And today it's a couple on a traffic stop in Pennsylvania where the wife or partner has been stopped by police for possibly fake American national plates. But her husband or partner turns up on the scene not to convince her that she's wrong or get her to comply with the police. No, he's there to back up her delusional beliefs and to berate the police for having the gall to stop her in the first place and nearly gets himself arrested for interfering. Plus, we get a few soft sit humdingers on par with something Chili De Castro might say. Right, let's get into the video. Well, you know when the spike strips go down, the troopers mean business, and this is likely going to end in arrest. So a five minute conversation with the state trooper and the chance to keep your car out of the pound or arrest and jail. Guess which one this soft sit will choose. <clears throat> Oh, because you rule? Obstructing? I'm taking a fucking... I'm filming. What's obstructing? Yeah, but stay over there. Oh, you guys are fucking ridiculous. Yeah. Hey, you can't... Get your hands off the car. You're not allowed to touch the car. Who the fuck do you guys really think you are? Holy shit! You guys think you can do anything? You know, it says a lot when you are more concerned about the trooper touching your car than your wife playing soft sit games. And not that I would expect you to know this, but touching the rear of the vehicle puts the officer's fingerprints on that car, showing that he was there with it in case the driver decided to flee the scene. Or if something happened to that officer, it ties both the vehicle and the officer together. And not that she would get very far anyway with those spike strips under the front wheels, but that's why they touch or tap the vehicle in some form. Right, let's skip ahead a few minutes to where the supervisor arrives on scene to educate his troopers and let the sausage go. Sorry, I mean arrest her and take her to jail. You're gonna pull her out of the car? <laughs> yeah, you guys are gonna be in big trouble. Why does she need to get out of the car?
No one's gonna touch her anyways. You're not allowed to touch her. You're not allowed to break into the car. Well, if she refuses to ID and then refuses to step out of her vehicle, then yes, yes, they can. They can lawfully remove her from the vehicle. Try looking up Pennsylvania Statute 1511, carrying and exhibiting a driver's license on demand. Oh, and there's Pennsylvania versus Mims, which held that a police officer can order a person out of their car following a traffic stop. But you have fake plates on your car, so you obviously don't think those laws or rulings apply to you. But, well, you're wrong. Break my window, do it! You do not have consent to touch my car! No, you're not. You are not breaking that window. No. No, you can't because you can't arrest you. There's no judge on duty tonight. No, you're not towing my car either. <clears throat> Do it, break it. You have no consent to punch my windows. You have no consent to touch my car. There is no such thing. She, what crime did she commit? Oh, big time now. Breaking my fucking window, pulling my wife out of the car. You guys are ridiculous. Here you go. Oh, I can't wait for this. Oh my god, you seriously putting your hands on my wife! Fucking get your hands off her! What are you guys are not police officers, are you? Who the fuck are you guys? No, handcuffs are illegal! You cannot put handcuffs on her! Wait, so handcuffs are illegal, there is no such thing as a lawful order, and she cannot be arrested because there is no judge on duty tonight. That is one of the stupidest things I've heard this year. How does any of what he said make any sense to anyone? Is this one of Chile de Castro's supporters? Because this all sounds like something he would blurt out on one of his live streams. Nederoski! Remember this, Nederostic and Deucebeg's bigger. We know speaker. Some other Deucebeg. Some other Deucebeg. Call the... Call the... Call the... Let's go. <sighs> Seriously busted the window out my fucking car? You're gonna be paying for that? You're gonna be paying for all of this? It's against the law. What the fuck is wrong with you guys? You guys are fucking criminals. Holy fuck. Says the guy with fake plates on his car. Incidentally, you may remember this plate from another traffic stop I covered a few weeks back where one got removed from a car and placed into an evidence bag in Sedona, Arizona. So that, along with your wife refusing to give her details and then not stepping out of her vehicle or your vehicle, clearly makes her the criminal. Get out of my car! Get out of my car! <laughs> right there just got you fired, motherfucker! Right there just got you fired! <sighs> Shut my door in my car. Buddy, I told you, one step closer, you're getting it. I'm not closer to you. You walked farther away, so I can walk closer. <clears throat> and what am I getting arrested for? Because you're just being a douchebag? I'd get out of my car, you don't have a consent to be in it. 
Yeah, unfortunately for you, they do not need your consent to be in your vehicle now. Your wife saw to that. So take it up with her when she gets out of jail. Anyway, that's it for this video, but I will be watching this channel for more shenanigans. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on videos like this in the future. And if you would like to support me and get perks like badges next to your name in the comments and early access to content, then please consider becoming a channel member, which is new to the channel. Or you can support me on Patreon as well. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Take care all, and I will catch you in the next video. No, handcuffs are illegal! You cannot put handcuffs on her!